Halloween is nearly here, which means the Dollar Tree has a whole bunch of awesome things for us to use with our laser. So let's get those lasers fired on, and I'm gonna show you what I did to the other side of this. For this project, I found a large board in the wooden craft section. It's a super thin MDF with a wood veneer on it, and it's too big to even fit my laser, which means I can use it as a base to make a nice big sign. I'm using some eighth inch MDF to cut out a trick or treat design that I have made. It is available for free to my paid patrons and will be available to everybody else for just a few bucks. It does help support my channel and I'll have all the links for that down below. And the next step is to paint everything. For the Dollar Tree sign blank, I'm going to get extra spooky and paint it three colors. I start with white and then cover it up with a scary cloth, which you can also find at the Dollar Tree, and it will give it a web-like texture. Next up is purple spray paint, and then I cover it up again, and we paint it with black spray paint. While that is drying, we can paint our MDF cutouts. I'm painting them black, yellow, and purple. For the lighter colors, I suggest hitting it with a primer-specific paint first, or sealing it up in one of the ways I mention in my How to Perfectly Paint MDF tutorial video. Once everything is dry, I figure out where I want all the little bits to be, and I simply glue it together. I'm using Elmer's Glue All, which is a super strength glue similar to a wood glue, which would also work. I would not be able to make a sign this big with my laser alone, and with all the pieces together, I think it turned out pretty nice. I do hope some children choose trick this year though, because I've been filling buckets with spiders and I don't want them to go to waste. Next, let's make some treats with stickers. If you have ever wanted a way to add full color images to your projects, stickers are what you need. I measured some stickers I like and laser cut out some acrylic pendants in roughly the same shape. Next, all you have to do is put the stickers onto the shapes. You can get creative with the colors you use. I tried to match up the spider and skull cutout colors. The candy corn I put on clear acrylic and has a sticker on both sides. The next step is where we turn these from just a sticker on a thing to a long lasting pendant. Resin is the magical goo you need. Since these are paper stickers, I highly suggest UV resin because you can cure it faster than regular time curing resin because that could soak into the paper and totally ruin the color of your piece. I put a little glitter in the resin for the skull pendant to give it some razzmatazz. <laughs> the resin cures quickly and makes these little pendants super professional looking and they will truly last a while. Since the candy corns are double sided, I cover the backside with even more resin and ta-da! These are ready to be turned into little treats to give those kids who are allergic to everything. I am making a pin, necklace, and earrings. You might not want to give anything sharp out to the neighborhood kids, but these do make some really good treats to share. Next up, I saw this Live a Better Day sign, and personally, I've never been a fan of that positivity message trend, so let's warp it Halloween style. After I separated the sign from the base, I put a coat of primer over the metal part. Once it was dry, I masked everything off and now it's ready for the laser. I made a live laugh lobotomy engraving and it wasn't until it was done that I noticed lobotomy was spelled wrong, but that's okay because when you mess something up, you either learn from it or you figure out a way to cover it up. But before we do that, I spray paint the engraving in with some black spray paint and now we get creative. So we'll need some more of that tasty UV resin. I'm gonna mix a little bit of this resin dye into it to make it look like blood, why not? Using a brush, I just glop on the resin and let it slowly drip down. Once the fake blood is right where you want it, hit it with those UV rays to keep it in place. I put some drops on the base and then I glued it all together again. It's that easy. What a cute sign to put next to your operating table. And this project was a great life lesson. If you have a typo, just cover it up with some fake blood. I found this Lazy Susan, and despite it being so lazy, it actually inspired me. This was also made primarily of MDF with a wood veneer on top, which makes it perfect to laser engrave. The design that was already on there was a bit raised, so I sanded that off to get it ready for a few coats of black paint. I made a web design, which will also be in the file download I mentioned earlier. In addition to this engraving, I also went around it with a vector etch, which is just a low-level cut line. It made the edges super crisp. 
Sometimes projects don't need to be complicated. This would make a perfect addition to a Halloween feast table or to display a spooky little town. Here's a couple bonus crafts. If you ever see glass like this, you can give it an antique mercury glass look with rub and buff. You just literally rub it on and buff it off. Now the texture of the glass really pops out. I also got these little plastic cauldrons to put glow stick bracelets in. You can line your porch with them or hang them just all over the house. The Dollar Tree is a really good place to find cheap materials and supplies. If you would like some more inspiration on a budget, then check out this video next.